Hello and welcome to episode 20 of our Car Shower campaign. In the last episode, we continued our expansions, this time into the mountains, where we took a bunch of land off of Segdir, and luckily also off of Hehodovar, because Abdel Kanzad decided to release them from Segdir. So now we have a truce with them until, let's see here, it is over in 1688, and I don't think we can fully annex them. No, just barely not. So what we're going to hope to do is declare war on them, uh, make sure uh, that all of their alliances are broken, and then hopefully Abdel Kanzad will eat the rest of them. Now, we do have another plan uh, at the same time, and that is attacking Usum Clan here. We're going to attack Usum Clan once our truce is up. That way, I can get a border with Gor Barad so I can reset the truce with uh, Segdir faster. Unless they ally someone like Ernabir. Otherwise, we'll just wait. What we're doing right now, though, is going to war with Katarata. They are still, I believe, three wars. Yeah, it's still going to take us three wars to fully annex these guys, and we, we need to make it happen. Need to make it happen. So we are going to just right away uh, declare a holy war on them. Now, I'm also at the same time going to be building a bunch of town halls because we can reduce our governing capacity usage a lot. And I would like to because I would like to state some more land, specifically stuff in the Brisson trade node down here. All these are at level one center of trades, and since this is where we're now collecting our trade mostly, uh, I want to make sure that those are all upgraded. Now, once we annex Brisson, which is who we're going to annex next after uh, Drolacand here, then we're going to absolutely need to because all these centers of trade will be in our control. We're going to want to state all this up and use it to the best of our abilities. All right, let's go find uh, Kenarada's troops. We do have a lot of troops in transit moving down. Shouldn't be too big of a deal. Uh, we're going to take a lot. Okay, they're up here. That's unfortunate. Uh, you know what? You force march there and then force march up to here. I need you to... Oh, or I'll just force march immediately. That works too. That works too. I need to go fight their troops and I don't think these 40,000 could really handle it on their own. Uh, yeah, I don't think that's quite going to work. But you can go to there. You guys spread out. Get all of this occupied. That'll work. Now, we'll hand all this land off to Ursmahap here. We don't need it. Uh, and they can corn. I don't care. Uh, I do need to make sure that we are still converting. Nothing that is... Well, I shouldn't say nothing. I think we still have... Some... Actually, no, we're good. Uh, there's no reason to convert anything in the mountains because all that land is going to be removed at one point or another. Uh, Airnet Beer is internal conflicts. Okay. I mean, that's nice. Gives me a little bit of breathing room at the very least. There's our truce with Busalar up. How is that going to look from a coalition point of view? Is that going to have Busalar and Airnet Beer joining together against me? Mm, so far, no. Okay. Uh, we're fine then. Lost Siege of Azka Jaxus. Yeah, that's because I'm dumb and I walked past him. That's fine. I mean, we should win this engagement here pretty easily. Uh, we definitely have a way, way, way better military than they do. It is not even close. Not even close. Unfortunately, I cannot barrage here. Don't have enough uh, mill points. There we go. Drolacand is annexed. And now Brisson. We need to make sure that our relations are maxed out. Then get maxed out by 30 more. Are you already influenced? You are. So we just need to send them a gift. We get a little bit more opinion. And then we can annex them. Which will come in handy. I'm going to assault that and move down to this siege. I just saw Gor Vazenbrog. Yeah, we don't have anyone to deal with that currently. Um, we can send these 25,000 back. We do have 29,000 though. Ah, surely we'll win. Surely we'll win. What's the worst that could happen, right? All right, get up there and deal with them. Make sure you get a somewhat decent general with you as well. All right, so Ketarada, I'm going to want to take all your main trade stuff here. Yep, that's the peace deal. All those provinces, that's it. I want to get control over this trade. Well, in that case, I should probably... Take that. Grab all these centers of trade. That way we could secure it. Because we are collecting trade here in Mother Sorrow. So if we can get a little bit more control, that would be 
rather nice. It'd be rather nice. All right, keep on converting all of the Akan stuff. Uh, oh, oh, also we need to take that. Ooh, good thing I did not do that piece deal. Yeah, grab that. That's fine. I'm okay with that. Local traders demand aid. Yeah, we have the money for it. We can afford it. We can afford it. Okay, there goes another siege. This one. Let's focus on the south. We have a government reform we can do. It's tier 9. Governing capacity, I mean, minimal autonomy territories and stuff is great and probably better overall, but I'm taking the governing capacity. That's going to help us out a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. All right, spread out. Get them annexed. Fight them or do whatever it is we got to do. Move you two together. And then go on the siege. Awesome. Thank you. Now I need to go grab the South Expedition Province. Interesting name. Sure, we'll figure out more about that in the next update, about why it would be called that. Uh, go fight these 24,000 first, then we'll deal with the 29. Again, we have crazy army quality, so we should be all right to fight these guys. I mean, they are just rebels at the end of the day, but, you know, who knows? Who knows? All right, you move up to fight them. We're at 89% war score. Once their capital falls, we should be good to peace out. Go ahead and barrage the walls as well. There we go. Siege of Ketarat is up, and that is 99% war score. Uh, grab what we need. We will grab this fort as well. Uh, and this province too. And we'll peace out. Sure. Now, we'll give our vassal those two. That way we're not overextended. Uh, where are you? There you are. You can have that one, and I can't hand you this one, because I am big smart. I am big smart and took a province that you cannot core. <laughs> okay, well, guess I'm coring it myself then. Uh, you all need to move together and deal with these rebels. Command is asking for manpower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll help you out. We'll be good allies. Go ahead and consolidate here fully, just so we can make sure we're going to win this. Awesome. All right, get everything unseized, because we are still trying to core all this up, so. He's rather, I guess we're still coring up uh, Gore Bazenbrook, which actually has Dame Steer in it. Doesn't really matter for us, since we're not going to keep the land, but cool nonetheless. All right, this truce is up in two years, so that's probably going to be our next war, if I had to guess. If I had to guess, it's going to be with uh, Eka and Usum Clan. Now, Usum Clan is unfortunately Rebellion, so it's going to be a lot of AE with these people. They are kind of far away, but still. Uh, Nurha Payne is asking us to support their independence colony of Busalar. I... I don't know. I don't think so. Hey, quick question. The Emperor would defend you right now. How are you not at war? In the Colonial War? Why? Why? I guess he doesn't like him. Why would he not defend you? I don't know. Maybe because it's the Colonial War. The Emperor isn't called in to defend or something. You've allied Red Scale? Loren has allied Red Scale? Best timeline for the Kobolds, I guess? Uh, well, maybe not best, but a, a decent timeline at the very least. A decent one. All right, Brisson, let's go ahead, send you a gift. There we go. And now your relations are up. All right, you're going to go deal with those rebels. You need to move up towards the goblins. Uh, you can unseach this. We have Viacock rebels. That's fine. Ugh, that dang island again. That's all right. They'll teleport over, and then we'll deal with it. it is what it is. It is what it is. Statesman has died. Let's get another one back up and running. We do like the Statesman. Uh, Brisson, you need to get annexed. Thank you. Now, we are over troop count here because we are annexing our vassals, and we are very good at having vassals. So that is something to keep in mind. It is something to keep in mind. No, I need a Diplo rep guy, please. Take that tech as well. 
Diplo Reputation. Thank you. Go ahead and cast Magnificent Feast as well. We'll take some loans for this. I don't really care. It's another Diplo rep, but more improved relations. Gladly. Also, we can delete those 8k troops. They are not necessary. Not necessary at all. Okay, we have lots of particulars in our capital. Uh, we should probably deal with those. Should probably force March over there to make sure they get dealt with. Uh, you can stick around here for now. And, uh, well, someone's got to go take care of these guys. Yeah. Uh, you unseize that province, then we'll send them out on boats. You leave someone behind. Go fight these rebels. Ah, I knew there was a reason to leave these troops here. Look at that. Just, just forward planning. Forward planning is all. We are converting this. Yeah, cancel that. We need to core it. Coordinate is definitely way more important than converting it at the moment. All right, you can go deal with those rebels. You go get back on this border because we need to go to war with the goblins. Well, there are con rebels. Okay, everybody's deciding that now's a great time to uh, push for freedom. I can't blame them. We're overextended, but that doesn't mean I have to like it. Doesn't mean I have to like it. Go. We stop those guys. Let's see if we can get down here and maybe prevent one or two occupations by these rebels. Uh, just keep converting. Not an ad. Not that one. Core it up. Anything else is fair game. Okay, at least 54,000. Oh, they're going to have to walk all the way around and up here. Well, that's okay, because we're going to need them anyways. All right, Usum Clan, at the same time, we will do a holy war here. Where's your capital? You've moved it to Abdel Ludum. Okay. Now, do you still have that war wizard? You do. You do still have that war wizard. I think it was an 11 shock general. So definitely a not insignificant amount. That's all right. Go ahead, get onto that siege. See what we can do. Just a stab loss from a pulse event, not a huge deal. Okay, split up. You need to move back over here. More separatist sentiment. Eh, they'll get over it eventually. Eventually. Okay, graph and separatist. Oh, man. Fine, 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 fine. We're still going to send these troops over to deal with the bigger stack, though. You can just go down, fight those 10k. You move in here. Working on this. All right, we're looking fine. Val Ord Monument is almost upgraded. It'll be done here in a couple of days, actually. So there's no point in even spending resources on it. No point at all. How are we doing on Diplo points? We're actually doing all right. Uh, let's find some more places to get rid of elves, yeah? Dartax has got to go. Dartax has got to go. Okay, so you're a harpy. You're gonna go over to Gelkar. You're gonna become an orc. You're gonna go over to Gelkar. You're gonna go over to Gelkar. You as well. All of this needs to switch over to human. I don't know if this is actually required or not, but it's what we're gonna do. All of you must become orcish or uh, human. Just think of this less of uh, bad things and more about changing the administrations. Mm, yes. Yes, changing the administrations is how I'm going to decide to look at it. Okay, goblins, what's up? You gonna you gonna throw down? Or he's gonna walk away. Uh, he's probably just gonna walk away and try and walk out here. If I had to guess. Uh, we can get production efficiency, that's fine. And again, what we're looking for is just a cheapest direct line to a border with uh, Gorbarad. Least amount of AE possible. And I know it's bad borders, it's fine. I'm pretty sure we will lose all of this territory when we also lose all the Segdir territory. So I'm not too concerned about it from a border gore standpoint, because, well, I guess I'll make more border gore, but not for me. So in the end, it, it works out. It's the AI's problem, not my problem. 
right. Uh, you guys need to rotate back over to Eka. We do still have to fight Pearl's Edge, by the way. <laughs> We're going to have to fight Booslar, too. That is going to be quite the war. It's going to be quite the war. We have a lot of people against us. A lot of people. Uh, we're going to declare this war immediately. They have no troops, and we're improving our relations with them for some reason. We have no troops. They have no troops. They have no allies. We do not need allies. As long as they cannot hire mercs in time, we'll occupy these three provinces. Yep, there we go. And we're good. You two move over onto the capital. Bjarnrek, I will accept that. You're over here. Uh, send half of you onto the capital. The other ones can leave. Our navy lost. Bolg the master. One stability or lose some prestige. I'll take that stab. Thank you very much. We have lots of money. Uh, pay off a loan. And you guessed it. You already know what we're building. Our favorite. Governing capacity buildings. Has to be. There is no other choice in this life than building governing capacity buildings. Look at that. Beautiful. So much available governing capacity. Exactly what we need. Exactly what we need. All right, get that unseaged. Don't necessarily need all of these forts either. I'm gonna start destroying them. I mean, we do need prosperity everywhere. You know what? We can actually start to state things up. Not an impossible idea here. We have the governing capacity. We don't have to pay admin to state them up. At least not most of it. We're going to pay for that. We can pay for one province in Harklem as well. State. State. Anything we've annexed for vassals, we can go ahead and state those up. To an okay degree at the very least. Uh, this does not need defensiveness. Is there anything else over here we can state up? I mean, there's Drolacand itself. This will take us over our governing capacity. Really? Ah, we were living such a nice life. We were living such a nice life of having <laughs> available governing capacity. I miss those days. Gift to the state. Uh, 10 prestige or 1,000 money. Thanks for the money. Hey, at the very least, at least that fixed our, uh, our force limit problems. Yeah, yeah, that's fixed. Gotta look at the positives in life. Okay, you've grabbed that siege. Okay, we beat these guys and they're running away. Are we still overextended? Oh, come on. By 3%? Really? Three? Darn. Darn, darn, darn. Uh, okay, we need to get Napes Bay out of this war. Which means, actually, this stack... Yeah, still go deal with them. Then we're gonna have to walk over to Napes Bay. We're gonna have to get access and such. Or we can just land. You're on the coast. How many troops do you have? Ooh, 17,000. Uh, where's our navy? Our, our main navy. Here you are. Uh, delete those galleys. Galleys are ugly and bad. Go over here. See, if their troops are not standing on their capital, we can piece them out very easily. If they are standing on their capital, we can piece them out not so easily. Mm, so it's going to be not so easily. I was thinking we could just grab our troops and immediately land here. And that would give us 25% war score from being on their capital and blockading them, but that will not work. There's no way Booslar gives us access. Vern, you want to be a homie? Nope. Uh, Moonhaven? Moonhaven would be a homie. Okay. Let's see what we can do here. Connect these troops up. Send them up here. Uh, Moonhaven, can I please have access? Thank you. We can land 10,000 troops at a time. Go ahead and land on these woods. In case they do try and fight us, we'll have some amount of defensiveness. They don't have access through Sesteronde right now. So they cannot attack those troops. I mean, I would assume the AI is going to ask for them soon enough. Uh, but if we can get through fast enough, it won't really matter. Also, Usum Clan, you're probably ready to peace out, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me your money and your war reps. Thank you very much. Cool. All right, we have cut through them. Go ahead and core all that up as well. Uh, you need to leave the mountains and come fight these rebels. You can walk over there with them. 
Uh, now, our truce with Sigdir, when is it? In 88. And our truce with Gorbarad is up in 1680. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, so we will reset our truce with Segdir, it seems. Which is rather nice. Uh, they are going to need some help, though. So let's send these 54,000 over. Powerful official cotton scandal. Let's take a moderate tolerance decrease of elves. Not really a elven-loving nation this time. Not really our thing. Grab that Diplo rep. Uh, yeah, convert that. Cool. Where's our ships? They're down here. Attach. Again, they still can't go through. Oh, actually, no, okay, they have not left. For a second there, I thought they left, and I was like, oh no. Where, where are they? <laughs> that is not good, but no, we're fine. 20,000 is probably enough to beat them, but there's no reason to risk it. It really isn't. Hey, will Silver Tusk give me access? I'm getting access to them. I'm going to go fight the rebels. Not because I care about what happens, but because every single time that I see them up here, I think they're my rebels. So <laughs> I'm just going to fight them. And that way I just have to stop looking at them. I think that's just the best for everybody. We'll be helpful in order to help ourselves. Mm, yes. I think that's a great plan. More governing capacity buildings, please. Thank you. More. Always more. All right, 30,000 will definitely be enough to have no issues whatsoever uh, with Nape's Bay. Again, I think 20k would probably also be enough, but yeah, there's no reason to risk it, right? There's no reason to risk it. Ask for military access, move through, say hello, smack them down. Oh, yeah, they, yeah, they are nothing compared to us. Uh, all right, and Eka, you get fine. Now you get full annexed. And you're black flag, so I can just walk you back into our territory, which is super nice. Uh, and I can cancel these accesses. I don't need them anymore. You might take a while, because we're going to walk back through your land. Eka, give me your three provinces. That is a full annexation. Thank you. Just some Ketteron land and some Pearl's Edge land over here we still have to deal with. Grab the money from the Gabos. Thank you. Are we coring everything? No, and now we're converting one of them, I bet you. Now we're converting one of them, I bet you, somewhere. Yep, there it is. Cancel that. No, wait. It's already our core. Oops. <laughs> Oopsies. Uh, Well, you know what? If we're converting something that we haven't cored yet, we'll figure it out. And we'll cancel it and we'll do something else. All right, we could take another mill idea. Sure. Or garrison size is fine. Nothing too crazy there. All right, there we go. We've, we've dealt with the rebels that are not my rebels. Right, you go ahead and move up to Gorbarad. I guess we'll go with the morale of armies general. You are going to be brought over so you can combine up together with your stack. They're going to go kill the elves for us in this war. 54,000 are on their way back to Segdir's borders. Again, we want as fast of a truce as possible with Segdir. Um, I was tempted to possibly... Hold on. Where's Sir... What was it? Sir Spit? Ah, you. Cancel. Cancel Sir Spit. Don't call it... Or don't uh, convert that one. The rest of them are... Needing that. Um, yeah, I was thinking about taking land off of Segdir in this war. I don't know. I still might. I still might, to be honest with you, but I also don't know if it's worth it. Because it depends on how willing Abdul Kanzad is to take more land off of Segdir. When is your truce up with them? In 87. Yeah, see, it... I don't know. It's almost worth it to wait for the truce to be up. Nah, I'll just weaken them. And then whatever Abdo Kanza doesn't take, then we'll we'll take after the truce is up. Probably fine. There's no reason to overthink it. There's our truce with Gorbarad. As long as you are not allied to anyone scary, we will declare this war. 
Okay, you need to move into Salisaneg. You need to move to Segdir's capital. You can start seeking down everything else. Oh, I can call the Blade Marches into this war. Uh, you know, I don't think we will. I really don't think that's necessary. But we could if we wanted to. Got a level 7 fort here. That'll take a while to get through, but we are in no real rush. Gonna be honest with you. No real rush. All right, let's get back to checking some cultures that we can switch over. So you're going to go to Xanite, Xanite, Xanite. We're out of diplo points. And this might take longer than I was hoping. Not going to lie. All right, Sister Ronde, go ahead and cancel military access with you. What other military accesses do I have? Uh, Silver Tusk. All right, we'll cancel that. Not that I really care, but... It's just best to clean up the old Diplo slots there. Right, there's the Siege of Gorbarad done. Now, we could just white peace here. Uh, we could just white peace and immediately end it. Or I can take land off of Segdir. Which would leave them at less than one war score, but would give us another 15-year truce. Is that more effective? Probably not. Probably not. You know what? We just white peace. We just white peace. We stick to the plan. Short truce with Segdir that we can use to go back in and fight them again. All right, but where does that leave us now? Now, who do I need to fight? I don't think anyone. Well, <laughs> I suppose that's not true. We do have you. We do have you, and that is going to be uh, quite the war. Quite the war indeed. We're going to be very, very ready for that war. So let's start preparing for that. We're going to want uh, how many troops down here? One, two, three, four. So eight. One, two, three, four on that side. Three, four on this side. So we can instantly seize down these four provinces. We do have claims, right? We do not. Do I want to do a claim war or do I want to do a holy war? The benefits of the holy war is that I can kind of sit back and fight their troops as they come in. The problem is it'll take me longer to get to ticking war score that way. This is such a low development. I think we go for a claim war. Uh, let's build some claims. Let's build some claims. Now, if only we could just find a way to get you distracted. How much do you like them? Can you hate them? If if Laurent will attack into the Empire, that would make our lives a lot easier. Won't lie. Also, look at this Derwing. That's impressive. They expand like crazy. Uh, but yeah, if we can get Laurent to be attacking the Emperor, then he'll be too distracted fighting Laurent, and then we can kind of just come through here and, and clean up, so to speak. Uh, let's get all of our ships into the port so we can upgrade them. Uh, you need to stay here to fight rebels. You need to make your way up towards the front. Because you're going to be here with us figuring out our optimal stacks. We want to make sure that we have a nice full cannon line. Uh, to deal with. Go ahead and upgrade all ships that we own. Except you guys go bye-bye. No galleys. Speaking of galleys, do we have galley fleet over here? No, I think I think Buvari killed them. Killed our innocent galleys. They did nothing wrong. They did nothing wrong. And yet, those brutal Buvarians oh, butchered them. Butchered them in the streets. It was terrible. It was the worst. Alright, let's go ahead and upgrade you and you and you. Well, I guess that was a waste, huh? Those are just going to get downgraded. Eh, it doesn't matter. You. And you're getting stated. And you're getting upgraded. And you are getting upgraded. And you are getting upgraded. And all these trade buildings are getting upgraded as well. Trade depot. Trade depot. Trade depot. Can I upgrade them over here, too? Oh, I sure can. That's a marketplace. It's a marketplace? I had a marketplace in my capital? What? That's an oof moment. 
That's a huge oof moment. I can't believe that. Well, actually, I can. That's very on brand. Yeah, I got marketplaces all over the place. Well, I guess it's because... I mean, I could cope however many ways I want. But the, the fact of the matter is, I didn't upgrade them. Uh, I'd be like, oh yeah, but my vassal had them. So it's actually not my fault. But, uh... Well, if I'm expecting my vassal to actually build buildings and stuff, I was already in the wrong. Now, it's not as necessary for us to upgrade these ones in these upstream nodes, because we're going to be the only ones with trade power here. But, nonetheless, I do like to do it. Uh, let's grab one more quantity idea, and then we will have our time here. It'll take 55 months to convert that. Better get started. Better get started. Definitely get all of these marketplaces built up into stock exchanges. Yep. And these provinces, get rid of the tax buildings. Those aren't giving us any value because it's not stated. Uh, yeah, we don't need the temples. Give me the stock exchanges because they're all in trade companies. How we get a little bit more control here? Because we're, we're losing 18.25 just naturally because we don't have the trade power, which is rather upsetting. You need to get upgraded too. All right, well, you know, it could be worse. It's gonna take 166 days to convert this province in Kenorada. You know what? We're gonna state it. We're gonna state it. We're going to enforce religious unity and that's it. Enforce religious unity. 4,000 crowns? No, our admin advisor's dead, sorry. Uh, nothing personal, it's just uh, I'm not losing a 4,000 monies over you. I can just hire someone new for that much. Hire a lot of new people for that much. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. Alright, so we're in position with these two stacks. Uh, our navy honestly could use with a bit of expansion. Go ahead and get me up to 40 heavy ships and 20 transports that'll do as well we got max manpower no we are not no we are not okay and all of you need to come together here we can go up to speed five yeah give the mages some money but only because i'm going to actually i can't do that because i have rebels never mind i was gonna see some land I mean, we can do it right now. Not a huge deal. There we go. 31% goes up to 36. Awesome. Uh, let's build a full stack right now. Combat width is 36. 36. Yep. And our cavalry to infantry ratio is still 50-50. All right. Well, move those 64,000 out of there. Uh, build me six more cannons. And that's a bit much. Yeah, we might edit this down a little bit. Obviously, we're going to walk them in like two stacks. It'd be crazy to walk them all in one stack of 100,000. That would be a great way to lose all of my manpower to attrition. Uh, we do need to go deal with these. But uh, we're actually, we're over time by quite a ways here. Got a little little lost in the sauce. A little bit too much, too much game point. Too much EU4 hours. Uh, we are 75% of the way through annexing Brasson. Then we will start the... Actually, you know what? We'll just start the annexation of Dartax right now. So we're only going to lose four months. We should be all right. Uh, so we'll have these two vassals fully annexed uh, relatively soon. And then we'll just have Ursmahap down here. And then Karashar shall be ours. But that is going to do it for today. I would like to thank you all for watching. And I hope to see you in the next one.